Welcome to The Educator. My name is Martin Boerter. Please enjoy this presentation. In this presentation, we are taking a look at the poem Remember by Christina Rossetti. What do you expect from a poem with the title Remember? Think of the connotations as well as the denotations of the title. Remember by Christina Rossetti Remember me when I am gone away, gone far away into the silent land, when you can no more hold me by the hand, nor I half turn to go, yet turning stay. Remember me when no more day by day you tell me of our future that you planned. Only remember me. You understand it will be late to counsel then or pray. Yet, if you should forget me for a while and afterwards remember, do not grieve. For if the darkness and corruption leave a vestige of the thoughts that once I had, better by far you should forget and smile than that you should remember and be sad. Let us take a closer look at the poem for a better understanding. In this poem, the speaker is talking to the one she loves and asking them to remember her after she dies. She points out that in her absence, they will no longer be able to touch her or give her advice or plan their future together. Remembering will be all that is left to her beloved. At the end of the poem, however, she tells them that her greatest wish is for their happiness, so they should not feel guilty if they find that they forget her sometimes. Although she wants her loved one to remember her, she would not like their memories to make them unhappy. This poem is divided into an octave and a sestet. Let's take a look at the octave, the first two quatrains. It has a mournful tone and the focus is on remembering and memories. Remember me when I am gone away, gone far away into the silent land when you can no more hold me by the hand, nor I half turn to go, yet turning stay. Remember me when no more day by day you tell me of our future that you planned. Only remember me. You understand? It will be late to counsel then, or pray. If we take a look at the next part, the sestet, we find that the speaker finds ways to move on and tries to forget. Yet, if you should forget me for a while and afterwards remember, do not grieve. For if the darkness and corruption leave a vestige of the thoughts that once I had, better by far you should forget and smile than that you should remember and be sad. This poem is an Italian sonnet, 14 lines divided into an octave and sestet. In lines 1 and 2, we find an example of euphemism. There is also irony, remember versus forget, that we find in the poem. Sound devices in lines 3, 4 and also 13, there are examples of alliteration. Remember by Christina Rossetti Remember me when I am gone away, gone far away into the silent land, when you can no more hold me by the hand, nor I half turn to go yet turning stay. Remember me when no more day by day, you tell me of our future that you planned. Only remember me. You understand it will be late to counsel then or pray. Yet, if you should forget me for a while and afterwards remember, do not grieve. For if the darkness and corruption leave a vestige of the thoughts that once I had, better by far you should forget and smile than that you should remember and be sad. Thank you for watching The Educator. My name is Martin Boerter. 
please remember to subscribe on YouTube for more presentations.